It's your boy E Ness, Chuck, DJ Thorough, allhiphop.com. Number one, baby. What's going on, world? It's your man Chuck Creekmer here at One World Studios with my man DJ Thorough. Yes, yes, yes. And we are here with a Philly legend, a barbarian, Philly. E Ness. What up? E Ness. What up? What's Chuck? good What's with up, you? Thorough. What's good? All hip hop, you already know. Yeah, yeah. We in the building. It's, it's crazy, man. What you up? and I go. Man, we, way we, back, like 20, way, 20 plus. Yo, yeah, oh, that's crazy, 20 right? Plus, <laughs> that's crazy. Plus, yeah. oh. Definitely. I don't even think I have a picture with you, man, because back in the day, I didn't take pictures. Pictures right. wasn't really like yeah. um, celebrated like they are now. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you see somebody like, every people day. People ran from the camera. People ran yeah, from right. camera pictures. They didn't want to be in pictures. Yeah. Very true. And be on the camera. Now it's like people run to cameras. Run to cameras. Right. right, run the yeah. that and when you're used to being around people, you don't think to take a bunch of pictures because yeah, you with them because so you with them all the picture. time, you yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. sure, makes sense. Yeah. So, you uh, you've mm -hmm. been you've been shaking up the internet a lot lately, For man. Sure. These freestyles you're Free doing is going crazy, yeah, and the views are, are wow, the um, views are dumb. People used to tell me, you know, what I mean, I had missed my time, or maybe oh, you know, what I mean, so. it just it just didn't work out for me, but I believed in my talent, and I believed that you know, what I mean. You know, you just keep keep on going and never quit. You know, what I mean, that's you know, right. time heals all wounds. Maybe mm. people forget some of right. the things that you know, what I mean, I, I needed them to forget, and maybe they start remembering the, the things that they liked about me more. Right. You feel me? And the freestyles gave people chance. Right. To, you know what I mean, You're right. You missing your time? That kind con that concept only applies to people with no talent. Talent is infinite. That's you know true. what I mean? You got talent. You could keep doing what you're doing. Whether people like it or not, that's on them. But you that's not the takeaway that you could be productive and you can still spit. No, for you know sure. What I mean? So that's unlimited right there. Yeah, so the freestyles got mad views and out of that, out of the energy out of that. Um I put out two projects, um, Enes and Friends, uh, featuring um was the first single being Trifecta featuring Benny the Butcher. Okay. Had a second single featuring Za Sosa. Okay. And my nephew uh Ness, which is also named the Young Ness. So that was more like um, kind of uh, paying homage to the younger generation with the hip shaking and all that, that right. type of vibe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baltimore, okay. right, the right. New Jersey, the Philadelphia kind of club scene. So I just been, you know what I mean, um, being an artist, trying new things and not, you know what I'm saying, not, not experiment to the point where I'm compromising. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm being an artist. And when you get, when you sign to these labels, they have their perception of how to market you and how to promo you. Right. So you never really get to see these artists full potential. Mm. Okay. I mean, like like per se this, if you go over to G-Unit, they want you to be a shoot 'em up bang bang kind of guy. Mm. When you could be a Busta Rhymes kind of guy and do the kind of like the animated, the Missy Elliott type of thing. Right. So everything ain't for everybody. Right. So the internet is giving uh, people, um, people that was, you know what I mean, had a career and prior, mm -hmm. A second chance and is giving people that never had a platform the ultimate platform yeah. to be showcased. You Too many people can ask me. <laughs> but so, so I would say <laughs> in a nutshell is like a reintroduction for the people that's been out and mm -hmm. it's just like a vast platform for the people that's trying to get seen and heard. Right. Now these projects, uh they're out already, right? Yeah, they're out already. Okay. M on most um downloadable platforms, Spotify. Um, Distro Kid, Tune okay. Core, shit like Core. that. Okay. So I put out E Ness and Friends, and then I put out Let Me Borrow This Beat. Let Me Borrow This Beat was a more old to the freestyles yeah. I've been doing on the gram over everybody, over tracks and stuff. Definitely both got traction, ended up, you know what I mean, doing Cosmic Kev yeah. platform, mm. which spawned into another viral moment that I had. Yeah. Right. You, you know, well, like a million yeah. views, right? Million views, million plus. Yeah. Shout right. out Cosmic Kev. Million mm. views plus. So Cosmic Kev was a big, big advocate advocate for me and you know let me come up on this platform and showcase my merch and my cheesecake sorry i couldn't bring a cheesecake to it, it just take a lot to transport it and keep it fresh and keep yeah. it cool oh, good you know, i mean stuff like that but I'm, I'm, I'm make sure i come up here next time make sure i have it but uh yeah you know i just like to turn uh, uh lemons and lemonade a lot of people use all the things that i've done a lot of the hazing on the show yeah you know i mean it was a disadvantage and the same mm -hmm. things that was a disadvantage i used them to my advantage now. right you yeah. said hazing yeah. We gonna have to talk about that. For sure. Yeah, yeah. 
A lot of people give us a, a like a, a bad rep for that, but it's it's, it's an everyday life. Mm. The hazing process. We joined a fraternity. We was real big with the with the colleges mm -hmm. because they could relate to us about mm -hmm. hazing and joining fraternities yeah. and having doing things that you don't want to do to get where you want to be. Right. So we was real big with the college. We did all of the homecomings and all that. Yeah. Because yeah. our album came around September thirtieth of two thousand three. Right. So I just dropped the Enes and Friends three years ago to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the band album. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so I had Beanie Siegel on there, Freeway, mm. uh, Vado, mm. uh, 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 Corey Guns, yeah. I had some it's New York gonna, spitters. Yeah, right. for oh, sure. Spitters, spitters. For sure. Um, looking back on that whole era of the band, is there anything you would do differently if you could go back and I just would have stayed in New York more and spent less time in Philly. It was so close. Okay. Man, um, I got caught up in that vortex of being wanting, wanting to be home and being the hood celebrity. Mm. And if I could, I would, I would, I would, I would have kind of like eliminated more time I spent in 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 Philly trying to bring everybody up. I would have mm. spent here absorbing the game, making more music, making more connections in New York. Okay. Yeah. Do you like Philly? It gets like a not a bad rap, but a, it, it seems like a lot of people talk about the lack of unity. Um, that's the that's the black community as a whole. Yeah. Mm. It's I just agree. the black community. This is, I mean, we, we we're we're one of the most influential, impactful races. Yeah. All the races watch what we do. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy to break us up. And I seen whatever that guy was on Club Shay Shay and he and he and he said something about that. And when he said it, like it just hit home for me. It was like we are the most trend Gilbert, you talking about Gilbert, the comedian. Yeah, yeah Gilbert. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. the most trendsetters. Everybody, every every um, yeah, God, 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 Godfrey. Yeah, I said Gilbert. Yeah, Godfrey. Godfrey. But when it comes, my to, bad, Godfrey. But when it comes yeah. to unity, we yeah, not we can't even be organized when it comes. There's to There's no crime. organized crime, yeah. right? <laughs> so listen, you said you got the mafia, you got the Italians, you got Chinese, you got um, Irish, Irish mob, Irish mob. Mm -hmm. you Name me one black crime organization. We don't have it because you can't even be organized in crime. BMF. So I wanted to say, yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were organized. Yeah, they were organized. organized. I guess you could say BMF, but say which BMF. is no more, but in the last decade. In the last decade, BMF, right. BMF. Right. That's, BMF. that's a good answer. It, it should be it should be it should be it should be, it should be more. It should be, it should more. be more organized crime. Be more organized crime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do crime, let's get organized, right? Right, right. Sure. <laughs> so I think it's separation and all that. It's just not in the black community, it's all racist. Yeah. Right. Like racists go at each other all the time. That's how they build up the courage to go at other races, going at each other. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, when all in a nutshell, the, the way the music is, the way people uh, process music and downloads and the streaming is all a numbers game. Mm -hmm. you know, and I walk into these offices, like I had meetings with Dev Jam, Koch, E1, all these, mm -hmm. Empire, and they only care about your numbers, yeah. which your Spotify monthly listeners is, mm. your YouTube views, mm. your engagements. Like you also, mm. you, I, I in in this in this day and age, I'm not a rapper that's making content. I'm a content creator that's rapping. That's how you feel. That's what it is. Damn. That's you hit it. I don't like how that sounds. But that's what it is. I'm telling you where is that? That's where it is. The lesser I, even if I'm just sitting there, looking into my phone, staring into space, right. mumbling something, they would rather see that. Yeah. Right. Then see me post about me coming out with an album. Yeah, and that's vindicative of what's out there. You see it. Me me blowing fucking spit bubbles in my fucking phone is more content than me posting up a flyer where I'm gonna be at giving out my music. Right. How does that make you feel? You frustrated yeah, with that? It's weird. It is weird. Because people pick and choose. Like they'll right. pick a dope freestyle. Like, yo, I can see why that that did the numbers. But then I'll do some other shit, some off left shit, and then that'll get as much recognition of me putting all this thought process to bars. Right. And right. I don't understand that. Like I could be in a club with, with a bad chick and just be rubbing on the ass. That'll get the same reaction right. as I do when I spit bars. <laughs> yeah. like, well, it's crazy. Right there. Don't rap, just rub on the ass. So, it's like, uh, so it's like the content creator has, has taken over like, I just was watching the 20 versus one. You know, where they got the 20 girls versus one. Mm -hmm. All them hoes want to be content creators. Not one had a job. Like, one had a skill, a trade, anything. Yeah. I do content creating. I'm a content creator. I'm about to get my YouTube popping. I'm about to get my Twitch popping, my streaming. My Everybody wants to create a job for themselves. So in 2024, Enes is a content creator. That's, that's rapping. rapping. That's rapping. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's, this is where we are. You know what? I guess I guess you got to look at it like that. Like if not, you're gonna fall behind. Yeah, because of rap. Nobody respects just the rapper. 
And if and then it, it, I mean, it's too many layers to peel back right. just to be a rapper. I have to actually live my lyrics. I have to be a certain. It's too much ageism in hip hop. Right. I have to be a certain age right. to talk about a certain subject right. or content. It's just too many layers to peel back to being a rapper. So I'm a content creator that rap. So let me ask you this: Does yeah. it, does, does, doesn't that put you in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, um, in the realm of? You're doing. You're compromising. You're not doing what you. You know. You're not. It's not compromising. It's just adjusting. You're adjusting. Okay. It's you're adapting. adjusting. Good work. Because I, like I literally, <laughs> I literally have to. The way the, the way the youngins got it now. Right. From all the NY drill, you literally have to go out here and really shoot up a and building kill somebody. or kill somebody, <laughs> go to trial, ridiculous. beat it, and come back home and then make records right. for people to even give you an ounce of respect. Right. They have took away the artistry and replaced it with real life shit. Right. right, but that's the point. Let me let me drop a jewel in. But that's mm -hmm. only for people that look like you and me. True. They don't they don't perpetuate that. True. No other no other race. Now everybody knows there's white girls that twerk. There's Asian girls that twerk. Every there's race. Jewish girls, but show me where there's they're Jewish gangsters. Show me, show me where they're perpetuating that. They're not publicizing. They're not publicizing. They won't. They won't sign that. Yeah. Only us. Yeah, we are we are our biggest enemies. You know I mean, man. it's crazy. The same shit that we like. Yo, y'all keep pumping this and pumping it. We are. We are buying it. We're buying into it. We yeah. are the consumers. We the one who are keeping it floating because if it wasn't no money being made, they would go with a whole nother agenda. No, they're not fucking with it. We got to go with this. Right. They're not twerking. They're not buying designer. They're not buying drip. They're not buying Dracos with extendos. They're not buying a high price liquor that costs 50 bucks costs 50 in the stick stores with 300 right. in the fucking it's ridiculous. Club. They're not buying it. They're not yeah. going for it. Yeah. We got to change it up. got to change the narrative. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Make I feel comfortable being being a, a content creator that raps because it just gives me a broad my horizon and it, and, mm -hmm. it, and it leaves it leaves the the conversation to open to do other business ventures instead okay. of just oh you just rap oh you just just wear the rap hat no nah, become right. a content creator comedy um you know what I'm okay. saying comedy oh you do a comedy yeah, I do comedy man stand up not too much i'm working on an act but i don't know what okay. if i wanted but i'm talking about as far as acting because i've did two movies oh three. i was gonna say tell me a joke because that's why i've did three <laughs> movies i've did I'm, I'm talking about like the more skit type of comedy, yeah, that type you. of shit you know what I'm like saying? ha ha Desi davis Banks, like a ha ha davis. country wayne ha ha davis okay got you yeah i mean young okay. lou okay so yeah. content yeah. creator that raps all right and now and now the comedy so um what made you go that way I mean, just my age and being, yeah. you know what I'm saying? When you're younger, Justin. you kind of more, everything is more fast as pace. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You got mm -hmm. your chest poked out. I'm older. So my content has reflect my age in some type of way. Mm -hmm. And comedy and, and, and TV and film is just a natural transition for artists that have been in the game yeah. as long as I have. And the battle rap, that's, you done with that? And that's a seed that's always going to stay there. I've, I've tend to ease up more, but it's just a constant check. And when you got bills to pay and overhead and kids trying to put them through school, sometimes you might have to take a battle that you're not prepared for to mm. fill a void from somewhere else yeah. and not that I have any less love for the culture it's just that you know what I mean I, f I feel good that I've worked this hard to be able to take a check when I need to from rapping right. at this point in my career even if I if in my 100, 110% prepared for the gig mm. right. that's my blessing that's my reward to me for putting all this yeah time and all these man hours over all these years to the false starts and all the disappointments right. and 20 years plus in the game somebody's still paying me somebody's paying you now do you yeah. feel you've uh you've um i got reached, reached your level financially in terms of the work you've put in to where you're right now do you think you've gotten everything the money is never going to match you know what i'm saying right. the the recognition the recognition the recognition or the, the, the notoriety that comes with being an artist right. that you have to you literally have to step on people to to become yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and, and, it, yeah. and that's the harsh reality of the game yeah no, you have to fact. sign artists a bunch of them to 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 lopsided deals right. and hope one of them out of the 10 become a success story to pay for the other the nine failures right, right 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 that's just the harsh reality of the game yeah. people don't like hearing it but it's there, and I mean, you go on YouTube and watch countless man hours of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the band a little bit okay. now. You know, the band was a big moment, a crazy moment. You yeah. Know? Um, you know, I was telling you earlier that basically when I was first, first getting in the game, you know, that was my message to people back home when the band was like taping in the studio and stuff, had a little events and whatever. You know, I was in the crowd <laughs> and people would see that. 
even just being in the crowd. Not the a band had a big impact. Yeah. But the way hip hop was changing, it was going back to the streets. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? DMX yeah. and, uh, and, and Jay Z and the Locks and right. Eve. And yeah. That whole movement was kind of like really dominant then. Mm -hmm. So we came in as just some old underprivileged kids that mm -hmm. wasn't deserving of their opportunity. Mm. But now that you see it, the game has ever changing, what's different from making the band was different from Fear Factor or any or the Bad mm -hmm. Girl Club where all they do is fight and fuss. Mm -hmm. or Fear Factor where is a is a cash prize at the end of the road, but right. you mm -hmm. got to do all this crazy shit to get it. Why yeah. is that not frowned upon on? But making the band walk for cheesecake is frowned upon on. Why I walk for cheesecake? one time in my life but people that work, work a regular job do it every day if you're yeah. working a job that you don't own or you're not the business owner you're walking the cheesecake you're making money for somebody else i did it one time and they clown me for it for the rest of my life but everybody mm. do it every day but you just don't notice it yeah right. nah well I, that's a good question to the answer what's the answer <laughs> 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 no real shit because people like all oh, you Every time I put up a post, people are always going to remind me that I walk for cheesecake. Right. But then I ask these people, do you work a regular job or do you own your business? Right. Mm -hmm. I work a regular job where you're walking for cheesecake. You just don't, you don't know it. Right. Yeah. Well, you compromise yourself. You compromise yourself when you got a social security and a birth certificate. You right. just don't know it. You wasn't even of, of knowing to make that, to make right. that choice for yourself to say, nah, or yeah, I want this. Right. At that time, did you have a choice to go walk for the cheesecake or could you refuse to do that? Well, people and would you do what, that now? What would you do people now? People don't understand is a TV show. TV That's why show. I'm making the comparisons to Fear Factor mm -hmm. or any other show. Jenny Craig, uh, Jerry Springer. It's a certain system and a certain script for the show. Mm. Right. And if you don't go by to the show, they'll just replace you with another person and put them in that slot. Yeah. It's right. no nothing personal. Right. If I would have went home, they just would have got another nest from somewhere else, put them in that and slot. Yeah, yeah. It was up to you with the choice what you made. That was what the whole show was about. How bad did you want it? And it go all the way up to ladder, all the way up to Hollywood Hills. Right. And that's what that's what show you. That's what Kanye's spoken about. And that's what all these other black leaders have spoken about. Right. It's their system. Yeah. And some people might have to take the ultimate sacrifice to show you it's their system. Right. Mm, mm. Now, what do you mean the ultimate sacrifice? <laughs> I was going to say that. I mean, just <laughs> it's loaded. exposing. Yeah, yeah. Or drop name dropping. You don't okay. see Ye doing a lot of name dropping. Ye had dropped 50 names in his interviews and we not know who we talking yeah, about. Yeah, right, right. But right. he'll be yeah. correct pronunciation. <laughs> Eric Schreiber and Marie Palestinian. And you'd be like, who the <laughs> fuck is these people? Right. But he know the players. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. We don't know the players. That's gotcha. a fact. I don't know. The <laughs> fact. Now, is there anything that was asked of you guys to do that we maybe didn't see on on camera that you said absolutely not? No, we just had that. military training. Okay, that's, that's what the people didn't understand. The 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 make the cheese and the cheesecake thing was just a military exercise, and we're. Puff Daddy became the villain so we could come together and mm. hold each other down so we can be as a unit when we out there promoting the album in different markets, different cities and states. Right. It's a military exercise. They did it on fucking uh, G.I. Uh, Jane. Remember when they made the two, the two teams? Mm -hmm. It was like a like some type of I like... I remember. Same right. shit. And they made the... Like the the chief sergeant, he was the villain, and he right. was sitting on top waiting for one of the teams, and then he came down. That's the same shit. I'm gonna become the villain so y'all can come together and yeah. bond, so y'all can go out there and sell my fucking album that I I invested into. Right. <laughs> now you were uh on, on a on a similar note, but side note, yeah, you were a part of the skit with Dave Chappelle for sure, and right? And you. Right. Right. And and Dylan uh, Dylan Dylan yeah. had some Dylan. he had some gripes about the whole show. Yeah, he right. said yes, he, he blamed Dave Chappelle. He, he said, in fact, he said, Dylan, my brother, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it being. Right. Dylan, Dylan was a ghost on the actual show. He was a ghost. He was a ghost on the R show, the reality show, okay. the making a band show. Yeah, all right. three seasons, Dylan was a ghost. Right. Mm. That, so it's not surprising that he was an actual ghost when it came time to tape the Dave Chappelle show. So was he supposed to be So that's why Dave Chappelle did that. He, he was supposed to be on it and show right. up. Oh. But, but he said, and I'm paraphrasing here, I don't want to go word for word, he said that ultimately that skit with that, that Dave yeah. Chappelle did ruined his career. Do you I don't think so. Do you I think, agree with I think that? it catapulted him in, into, into, a, into a place in hip-hop culture kind right. of moment where that he can never be Forgotten. I mean, forgotten. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, he said he said what what happened was 
after that skit came out, no, he would try to it's get It's only them. because he didn't know how to capitalize on well, it. Yeah, he, he didn't find out how to capitalize They made fun of him. He wouldn't be thinking about this. We right. all think about, damn, I should have fucked that bitch. My man with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> we go straight to <laughs> You know what I'm what saying? I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you a comparison. Like, that I'm, I'm just giving you a comparison. I like, damn, saying. I was about to crack on Shorty. Yeah. I, I slacked. I, yeah. did, I didn't yeah, have yeah. the opportunity and I see my man spin a corner with him. Yeah. It's the same thing. Had he capitalized off the opportunity, he right. wouldn't be feeling that way. Yeah. But wait a minute. You said he was supposed to do the skit. He was supposed to be there. His, 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 his excuse is he was told that we had the days off. But that's that's cat because Dylon never even came to shows we was getting paid. Honestly, mm. bet between between me and the viewers... We couldn't wait for Dylan not to show up because we would break down his bread. Oh man, it wasn't personal. Uh, it wasn't really? Personal, oh but shit! When he wouldn't show up, he wouldn't show up to actual paid dates. Why wasn't he showing up? We don't know. That's my Aquarian brother, by the way. We don't know. That's why, because he's Aquarius, and that's my brother. It ain't about we, I money, never, and I never asked was him because I loved him that much. Because we 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 vibed outside when the cameras was off. Right. So I never I never would come at him diligently right. or in a type of belittling way. He just was a ghost on the actual And that show. wasn't a part of the show. Nah. Okay, him not showing up because maybe nah. I'm thinking that was the it whole thing. No? He oh. just, matter of fact, they did. They asked him, <laughs> we, they did ask him. We was taping the Dave Chappelle show and then they asked Chopper and he was like, oh, I don't know, never worry. You talk to Dylan, never worry 31st. And they was looking yeah, for him and then I asked Dave yeah. Chappelle, we was like, yo, Dylan ain't coming. Where we going? He was like, don't worry about it. I'll I play him. That's how that went down. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So if Dylan would have showed up, that yeah. wouldn't have happened to him. Dave Chappelle would have never played Dylan. That's how that went down. Fred oh, didn't even right. come. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Fred wasn't there for right. the taping in the show. It was just me, Sarah, Chopper, and Babs. Right, right. Just us four. Yeah. It wasn't you? even a whole group. And that's why our our career was short lived because it's like a pack of Skit Skittles and MMs. I'm paying, even if I don't like the green ones, I want the green ones. Mm. Even if I don't like Ness, I'm paying to see all six members of the group, not just four right. or five or three. And that's why our career was short lived. You see, everybody else that was signed, I mean, through the Make It a Band series, was still tour. Danny Kane still tour. Day 26, they still tour mm. because they kept that bond with themselves. Right. Yeah. Do you regret the fight? I don't regret nothing. I don't regret nothing. You know what I'm saying, yeah, it was it was a, it was a bad look at the time, but um, convincingly, I've never been tried, and nobody never, yeah, you know I mean, tried to come up and talk to me, act me crazy because they know win, lose, or draw, I'm going to fight. Yeah. And some people yeah. just don't want to get into that type of confrontation with anybody. Yeah. Some people yeah. just not fight. Yeah. I don't even feel like winning, losing. Splitting mm -hmm. it down the middle, I don't know. So I just not let me just leave Ness the fuck alone. Right. Never claim to be a boxer or a top prize fighter. I'm just not a sucker. I'm just gonna yeah. fight. If I feel some type of way, I'm just gonna fight. That's yeah. just that's just the Philly. That's I just, love it. It's just yeah. Philly. Philly got the best boxers. Everybody, oh, you lost. I'm like, bro, I never was Smoking trained to fight. Frazier. I'm not Mike Tyson. I'm not motherfucking <laughs> Oscar yeah, De La Hoya. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not a sucker. Not Joe you say some shit that don't sit right with me, I'm gonna start punching. Right. That's it. There's, yeah. there's nothing to it. There's nothing like Oh, Philly, we, you know what I'm saying? Bernard Hopkins lost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. If you're not Floyd Mayweather, shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me. <laughs> right. You lost the fight. Right. I'm just not scared to fight on TV. And these other niggas, soft ass niggas, would never throw a fucking fist punch on TV. That's so, a fact. I mean, a fact. even though it was a bad light, I never get tried because niggas like, yo, you wild, you're a brawler. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What we going to do? What can we expect but a fight out of you? Right, <laughs> like, right, right, right. Yeah, man. Are you uh, cool with anybody? I'm still? cool with everybody. Okay. I get up here and talk my shit, but I'm, I still talk to everybody. Dylan, Chopper, Sarah, Babs, and Fred. They're still my brothers and sisters. Until the day we die, that's a bond that never can be broken. That's good. No matter how mad we get at each other or talk about each other, it's always going to be there. I'm always going to go to Miami and call Fred. I'm always going to go to New York and call Babs. I'm always going to go to... Detroit and see if Sarah's there. I mean, it's just yeah. it's just like clockwork. It don't matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, for sure. Ah! Um, <laughs> now, a few days ago, you yeah. you 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 went in, you went on record, and you were like, yeah, you know, it's a smear campaign with yeah. Diddy, with Diddy smear campaign. Um, now things have changed dramatically, dramatically. in that short of time. Dramatically. Um, how do you feel now? <laughs> do you still feel that way? <clears throat> just let me reiterate. I never said that the allegations wasn't true or false. I just said I never was exposed and witness to it. Okay. 
as a disclaimer, the way it's looking is looking real bad. Mm. And we're going to see as, as, you know what I mean, all this shit unfold, mm -hmm. the truth behind all of it. Yeah. And I'm sitting on, at the edge of my seat just like everybody else. Okay. But like Thoreau said, it's so crazy. We live in the times where Diddy's house being raided is, is overshadowing the tragically oh, yeah. that happened in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Cars go up all out to the families in Baltimore yeah, that lost their, their life on the bridge. Yeah, that man, that's crazy, man. Tragedy, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's been overshadowed. People's and that's lives. crazy. And that's crazy. When you broke that down, I, I didn't even think about that, but like that's insane to think about that celebrities' life and all this shit is more um breaking news than it's more valuable crazy than, tragedy it seems to be more valuable than people lost than people losing their actual life human souls that's crazy it's yeah. crazy but i just wanted to say that like like i reiterated i never was saying that to defend mm -hmm. i just was giving my testament and what i seen in my time up there i was up there from 02 mm -hmm. to 09. we did mm -hmm. the band album then i was asked selected to stay on a probationary period from 03 to 06. then mm -hmm. 06, i was granted a solo deal from one of music atlantic group Right. Mm. Into oh six and oh nine I was recording for my for my album entitled Necessary. Okay. And then oh nine he switched and went to uh switch distribution and went over to uh Interscope with Jimmy Iovine. And then his new deal, the stipulations was he couldn't take any of the old roster over to the new situation. Gotcha. So that's how the business ended between me and Puff. Right. It wasn't no gripes. It wasn't I didn't do any foul shit. It wasn't no right. bad business. Right. I was never signed directly to Bad Boy. I was signed to Black Key Production. I had my own production deal. Right. We came in as a partnership. Mm -hmm. Right. So if any time that they felt some type of way or didn't want to go on with the deal, I wouldn't even got that first deal, more or less a second one. Right. So so after the ban and the mm -hmm. the, the, um, the the demise of not to say demise, but after everything Split, split, smoke clear, smoke clear. Yeah. Did you and Diddy have any type of personal relationship in terms of, hey, what's up? How you doing? No, Good. For sure. da, 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 da. I just talked to him up until the allegations. I went to go see him out in Coney Island. With okay. Justin and Fab, mm. and um, Christian was out there. Mm. And what was that like? Man, it was just love. I gave him my cheesecake. You know, I'm in my own cheesecake mm -hmm. business now. Oh yeah, speak mm. on that too. Yeah, I just decided. You know, everybody was. You know, you know I mean, trying to throw shots at me all these years, and instead of just running away from it, I embraced it. Now I have a product that I can actually sell you so when you bring it up in a, a in a kind of a negative manner i'm going to turn into a positive and try to sell it to you if you're mm -hmm. a fan of cheesecake yeah right yeah. so yeah i mean i gave him the cheesecake and he stopped what everybody was doing made sure his camera guy came over and gave me a little commercial to my cheesecake oh business. no, no. Oh, that's, what's yeah. that's what's up for sure oh man so I, like i said reiterate once again i have daughters so i would never stand by sexual abuse Right. Or, or any of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's just wrong and it's right. But you can never condemn a man until we have cold, hard facts. Right. But I agree with that. But they also say where there's smoke, there's fire. There's fire. That's also true. It's a lot of smoke. There's a lot of smoke. A lot of smoke going on. There's a lot of smoke. You know what I mean? But I think Diddy is resilient. I mean, he's resourceful. And um, you know what I'm saying? God willing, he'll be able to pull through. Because I'm just thinking about the kids right. and mm -hmm. the impact it has on his younger children. Mm -hmm. I can understand Christian. <clears throat> and Justin, because they're kind of older mm -hmm. and more, um, um, I would say, privy into the world right. and in show sh yeah. showbiz and entertainment. Yeah. But as far as the younger kids, it's kind of like, you know what I mean, it's, 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 it shakes the building for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a sad, it's a sad case. And I, I, I did something yesterday. I posted a picture of Christian. <clears throat> I was not trying to be funny about it. Right. I was looking almost, I felt like into his soul almost. Like his eyes was just like, like what's going on type of Did thing. Diddy is a Scorpio. I'm also a fellow Scorpio born in November. And I mean, we hustlers, we hard workers. We love our family. We also like to have fun and turn up. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to Diddy, hopefully the things that he's been accused of won't affect him going into the future. And he, mm -hmm. he, he should be able to recover if everything go. Mm -hmm. but as of now, the way it's developing is not looking good. But hopefully that's my big brother. Taught mm -hmm. me a lot in the game. Mm -hmm. I don't wish to jail or any type of bad, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. wishes on anybody. So I hope he pulled through and hope his shit be all right. You know what I'm saying? Okay.
did um I was talking to uh Babs, we were talking to Babs, and she she mentioned some of the business was shady. Well, I I won't say everybody shady. do it though. I don't want to keep everybody <laughs> coming at Puff. Everybody no, I'm not coming like, at him. And I'm, I'm not saying just I'm like everybody you def I'm not defending them, but we gotta talk about because Jimmy Iovine had the same sexual allegations. That's not as publicized as Puff. It, we don't know yeah, the details that's true. of that. That's actually true. Very true. Very true. Good yeah, point. True. Why do you think that is? Why you think it is? Because the Jews run the media, and when you and when and when you ruffle wrong feathers, is a smear campaign. That's what I mean by a smear campaign. Mm -hmm. It's a production. Yeah, the same way as a production is motherfuckers raiding three cribs in three different states. Right. That's production. That's money. That's yeah. manpower. That's a mm -hmm. check that was cut for people to be deployed. Same thing. A check cut for all the. All the main media websites and all the blog sites to get this information vastly out at a period of time where, you know what I'm saying, public perception rules. We ain't getting no check. Public perception. Yeah, we ain't getting no check. Where's our check? <laughs> <laughs> Hold public on, where's my check? See, check. see the media no fucking public, check? Fuck. And that's what act is, is really like, <laughs> you know what I mean, dropping gems on his podcast and his live streaming. Who's that? At academics. Uh -huh. Academics knows that the media and information controls the narrative. Yeah. And whoever's first to the punch, they can kind of like, right. you know what I'm saying, really, I mean, right. direct the way it's going. And when I meant by a smear campaign, not saying that it was true or false, what I'm saying was the monkey see, monkey do type of thing. Once one person did it, Cassie won, and everybody lining up to take shots at him. That's what I'm yeah. saying by a smear campaign. Right. Everybody right. see his kinks in the armor, now everybody throwing rocks at it. Yeah. Yo, let me see if I get some money. Let me see if I get some money. Shit from 97. Even Cassie. Like I said, until it all comes out, we, we would never know. But Shorty, you've been with this man for 10 years. You was with it at some some decree. You was with it at some decree. Because if you really wanted to get missing and get off the grid, everybody knows how to go off the grid. Ten years. Know though, Ness. Everybody knows how to go off the grid. You don't stand around for sexual abuse for that long for, for a decade plus. So let and me then get remarried and have children and think about it and say, I was wrongly done. 15 years ago. Okay, so I'm not I believe say, once you get remarried and once you move on with your life and, and you go in front of a judge and a fucking preacher and you and you do and, and do new vows with a new person, all that shit, should, you should be, that should be a fucking public fucking um, declamation that you have forgiven or have moved on with your life. Well, I can't say I know or don't know because I don't know what it's like to be a woman. Right, and I don't. I definitely we don't, don't know, know what it be living, be but abused. this shit happens all the time. Tia Kemp just did, just put a fucking D Lo boss man up there, balls out and shit. But nobody was coming at her. But as soon as a nigga do it, or put a bitch up on screen sucking dick or doing something, it's reverse porn. It's it's it's, it's revenge porn. Who? Um, it got double standard. Tia only, Kemp, Rick Ross, baby mom, oh, the oh. boy D Lo, phone jinging, yep. Phones yeah, that boy. D-Lo the boss man. D-Lo the boss I'm sorry, man. I'm she not. had pictures of the nigga getting his ass ate out and the nigga stretched out to the world. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, that's what the D-Lo yeah. yeah. Do your research. You she, she, she was going on the gram on her live with the nigga with a phone with footage of the nigga getting his ass ate out, a bitch facing the nigga ass, and the nigga stretched out like he just had sex and motherfucking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whole, yeah, we gonna edit this. Out. We gonna edit this oh, out because yeah. it's crazy. I'm telling YouTube's you, YouTube's not gonna allow this. It's a revenge this. porn. It's oh, a double. I'm trying to, the punch I make is a double standard. <laughs> oh, when what? men do some shit, it's revenge porn. When women do it, it's crazy. When niggas oh. call the cops, so niggas is snitching. When women do it, it's just a women scorn. Oh man. Oh man. Nah, you going in today? Hey, going yeah. in. That would be tossing salad, wouldn't it? You what? got a salad. Card? What I'm saying I is, I don't want no what more I'm saying is, when a man do it, I it's see what wrong. You're saying. I see when what a woman do it, they get a pass. That's all I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And once you and once you uh. once you put up with certain shit, it's like the R. Kelly shit. It was 30 year olds that was leaving, getting away, whatever, and then getting bored, going back. Women. Yeah. Tell me, I miss them. It's documented. It's know. documented. You with the to some shit. Mm -hmm. You with the lifestyle. You are with the shits. Some people. It's consensual at some point. It was, some people. Yeah, it was consensual. Yeah. Bro, the first time, the first time, you're calling 
You're getting me to call somebody else to c come in and do anything else, and that's and you and you you feel compromised. I'm out of there. What am I stand for? Who are you talking about? Little Rod, Cassie, anybody oh, okay. Okay. that okay. came out and said anything. Right. Little Rod was there for a whole year recording the album, but not until he couldn't get his money is when he dropped the allegations. Uh. Nobody in filled criminal charges, all civil suits. Right. But What's that, that about? Right, Nobody but, wants really justice. What do you want? His money or you want justice? Do right. you feel sexually assaulted and abused or you want some of his paper? What is it? Both. I feel, I feel like Cassie. Everybody. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel like Cassie, I feel like Cassie was being strategic. And how does a monetary gain fix that traumatization? No, I don't hear about nobody getting therapy, no classes, no anger. Man, nobody's getting nothing. Everybody's taking the paper and running off into the sunset. But you can you get you can get therapy after the fact. Of course, with thirty M's in your back pocket. Yeah, you get a lot of therapy. Definitely, you get a lot of therapy. <laughs> a you lot of counseling. What, what I'm saying is, everybody yeah. had to be accountable. Yeah, you might have been abused, but to some extent, you could have went off the grid. Right. You didn't want that that chance of life. Black men, well, black women walk away from black men with a whole house full of kids when they get tired and be in the same neighborhood. Right. The nigga. The nigga show up to them fucking steps. Who they calling? The police. Right. Well, you know what it is? It's a thing. It's it's no statute of limitations on that. It's like murder. It's you can't say, oh, I killed him 30 years ago. You can't arrest him. my mouth me. after the abuse and the sexual shit. It's already regular niggas that work nine to five jobs and ran down on me and, and, and I mean, had their way with me. Now I feel some type of way about the mogul. Right. Regular niggas that pounded me out and treated me and bought have, me slices they, of pizza. They don't have no money. They don't have no money. That's they what I'm saying. No money. So but, but, what, what's, the, but, what's the retribution here? The, 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 I feel the, some the type of way. I was wrongly done, or I need a monetary figure right here to, to make me feel less that I was done wrongly. But you know, and I know, the money... It, 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 it don't comfort you. It's the punishment. It's the punishment. It don't comfort you because it's, it's, it, it's, a, it's a number inside a computer. Something can happen. A bomb can hit this motherfucker, and motherfucker hit the button and, and turn your one million to a hundred dollars. Facts. It's all unless you go into the bank and get it out physically. It's a number in a fucking computer. Anybody walking around talking about they got money, they don't have shit. They got a number in a fucking computer, and one push of the button, that number can go <laughs> away. You will have nothing. Maybe, but well, at least... Ain't no maybe. At least it's, it's there. No maybe. It's no liquid bed, currency. Nobody has 20 million under their fucking bed no more. It's all cash app, this, that, uh, Google, it's insured. fucking Vimo. It's, it's all it's, that. But it's, it's forever, it's, though. It's no it's pay for insured, though. I get what you're saying, it's, but... It's, it's not insured. FDI is, it's not insured. So if you got a million... It's not insured, because if it's insured, <laughs> where are you going to get the liquid paper to insure you from? That's I'm their just, problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm saying. I don't know, Ness. I'm saying. Look, if somebody they saying it's insured. Who's saying it's insured? <laughs> just Do you saying. know the laws that insure the paper? Right. You don't. You just say, yo, I know the. I put my money in the bank. It's insured. You don't know it's insured. If it was that insured, how can motherfuckers from overseas hack your shit and be sending money from your motherfucking bank account from Cash App? If it's that insured, how can hackers easily from fucking overseas? Back I can't into your say shit. for cash app. They can. Cash app. I had different. it done to me before. Overseers hacked my shit and was sending money to cash app and buying shit mm. from my bank account. Mm. But okay, but did you and get then I, did you get it within back? a year? Okay. But what if I was down on my ass and needed the money? They couldn't replace. They couldn't come and cash me out. Right. So where was the insurance? I could have been out of my ass, lost everything. Right. Maybe I needed that a thousand or fifteen hundred that they took out of my account they had to, to make it to right? the next check. I had to wait. It had to be specifics, all types of protocol, paperwork, back and forth. I had to call this, sign this, send it back. Do I have to send something back? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we are acknowledging that. Yes, you did acknowledge that we gave you the acknowledgement of the acknowledgement. <laughs> 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 yeah, you had it. He don't talk about lawyer. He don't talk about that. That's all formality. Your lawyer has to send your lawyer. That was a bonus yeah. Yo, did you receive that? Yeah, we're sending you back <laughs> to say that. Yes, we did receive. See, <laughs> yeah, that yo, was a Bobby Schroeder moment right there. The yeah, hack came for the off. record. For, yeah, right. For the record, I, I'm I think, lying. Y'all don't, y'all don't look at it how I'm looking no, I, at. I, I, I look at, I look at all this shit head. is a fucking fuck fest. You was fucked from day one. That's why your mother's fucking um womb is called a birth canal. You are nothing but an export of fucking American soil. That's Damn. why you get a fucking birth certificate and a motherfucking social security card. Now. You don't even have a choice. Did this now.
Either right. you're going to grow up and become a citizen and work, and we're going to get paid off of taxes, or you're going to be a fucking criminal and you're going in jail, and we're going to get paid for your bed. Mm. That's true. That's it. You have no choice unless you're a mm. sovereign citizen. Anybody talking about, I'm walking for cheesecake and you compromise. You're a compromise from a day you was born. You have no choice. Mm. You right. have no choice. You have a social security card and a motherfucking birth certificate. Yeah. You have no choice. You've been compromised already. What? And let me add to that, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we, wow. are, and we are all I'm trying to get rid listen. of my, my social security <laughs> number now, listen, man. I'll do you one even better. And we are all paying taxes on stolen land. Exactly. How about that? How could you charge us for land that we don't even own? You don't own this shit. You don't even own all this shit is stolen. You own your house, but you don't own the land. Well, who owns the land? Who came here? No, because the American dollar is backed by bullets. The mm. weapons is their biggest commodity. Mm. They sell more guns than they sell apples, oranges, pears, and plums. Mm. The American dollar is backed by the American bullet. Mm. And that's how we got this country. We need to run for mayor. Brody. Oh, man. We took it. We need to run for that's why we take everything. Yeah. We about to start charging niggas for air. <laughs> Come holler at me, There's man. a comedian yeah. there, <laughs> It's coming. It's on the way. You know, cut off yeah, my man. head. It's oh, on shit. the way. You never own your fucking house. You had to pay the property taxes to the day you die. Yeah. That's why I'm pushing everybody, all you rappers, stop running up these large Airbnb bills. Go out to fucking fucking the midwest and buy some land with some acres and shit right. do what yeah. trippy red and all them niggas doing and yeah. aries is doing for motherfucking money back yo buying actual land with acres in it that you yeah. actually own that yeah. you don't have to pay property taxes y'all yeah. motherfuckers buying brown stones and motherfucking condos yeah. and gotta pay for the property tax you never own your fucking house you never own nothing it's a continuous fuck fest even credit they're gonna yeah. make you pay for money that you don't even got Right. <laughs> that, that's it. It's the same thing the mob doing. It's a high interest loan. Right. You want five hundred, you don't have it, we're gonna give it to you. We're gonna see how you pay this back on this low interest loan, then we might raise it, we might not. It's everything financial is, literacy yeah. with Financial Ines. literacy with Ines. Yes, For yes. sure. Seminar next week. For sure, right. bro. It's a big <laughs> fuck fest. Wow. Wow, that's, Man, that's I, a record. Fuck fest. Come on, it's a, a big song. fuck fest. We don't record that after after this um, interview. Fuck fest. Let's oh, go. Man, <laughs> <laughs> produced my boy one and DJ Thorough. Let's go. Fuck fest. So, <laughs> switching switching yeah. gears just a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Philly rap. Philly rap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Philly rap to me, I think Philly is the most underrated city you think in terms of what philly yeah philly has always be number two to two to new york because new york is just a bigger market right all the labels are here right. all the you know what i'm saying everything is just a fucking mecca of all business yeah. right and um philly is like their little brother yeah. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Back in my day growing up, we always had to come to New York to get to go to the Gucci store and mm -hmm. all of the furs. Right. Philly never had that. Right. So Philly was always right. a big bro I mean, little brother to, right. New to New York. Which what I'm saying is as time passed, we found ways to compensate right. our mm -hmm. disadvantage. Right. Okay. We became the land of spitters. Yeah. That's you got right. you. I would say yeah, that I would stop work myself right. into that. No, I see that. Yeah, it like became that. the land of spirits right. to uh, compete definitely. with the vast right. resources and finances that New York mm. did. Right. Wow. I, I'm gonna throw Detroit in there sense. too. Uh, Detroit. I gotta throw sure. Detroit in there too. For sure. I love it. It's a rivalry. It's yeah. Detroit, right. New York. Chicago, New York, right. Philly, Jersey yeah. Tri-State area. True, that's true. that's the rivalry. Boxing, break dancing, yeah. rapping, battling, ball, basketball. Yeah, it, it, I mean, whatever. It's, it's just a rivalry. Graffiti. Yeah. DJing. Mm -hmm. Detroit, Chicago, mm -hmm. Philly, New York. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Woo! We should do a battle with all with all four. Right. That's Ooh, fire. That would, that would <laughs> That's be fire. fire. I, mean, I mean, Philly has definitely contributed Ooh. to hip hop since day one. So, you know what I mean, being that said, we always had a, a rich. Um, um, Seed playing in the culture with the uh, Philly International gambling hub, mm -hmm. the whole hub. neo soul yeah. so scene. You know, the roots shit. is still roots. doing big shit. Schoolie D, PSK, can't D, forget him. PSK, um, which 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 also uh, inspired uh, Six AM by Ice T, right. which inspired right. exactly. Boys in the Hood right. by fucking Easy E, which inspired right. And let's not forget Three Times Dope. The you familiar with Three Times Dope? dope. Fresco sure. and Miz, yeah, Fresco and Miz. Um, Tough Crew, Tough Crew. Come on, man, um, Bahamadia. She don't get enough props. No, Bahamadia. Bahamadia. Shout out to Bahamas. She was dead. nice as fuck. Shout out to Bahamas. Cash yeah. money and marvelous. Cash money and marvelous. Money, 
What you know about that? Come on, man. I know about the whole oh, Hilltop Hustle. Hilltop Hustle, Cool steady T, Steady B. Cool. Come come on, on, man. Jewel T. Jewel T. Jewel T. <laughs> Uh, come on, Lady B. B. J. Ran. Young Lady artists. B. Lady B is my godmother. Oh, I ain't at Lady B's real? house every Sunday. Yo, wow. I used to get a lot of tapes season. from back then. Yeah, Lady yo. B is my godmother. That's dope, yo. First hip hop jockey in on um, wax. Oh, wax. She's the first rapper on wax. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. By the way, too, so, 79. Or Philly's right yeah. there, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Philly's Leave, right there. The Roots. Right. Man, we just rich in all that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, B Hop. Ram Squad. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Ram Squad. Yep. Dope, and then, man. And then State Beanie Seagull, Beanie Seagull State property, State property, obviously. Major Freeway, figures, Cassidy, Gilly, 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 Wallo. You know what I mean? By the way, Gillo and Wally rode for you with the, uh, the Drewski thing. They did, the Drewski thing. joint. Drewski, you think you saw I think Drewski funny? was capping because Drewski was on a Breakfast Club and said he watched the Dave Chappelle skit. That's where he got the, the idea for Could Have Been Records watching the Dave Chappelle parody, which oh. I was on both. I was on the Dave Chappelle parody and on the, the regular making the band show. Right. So how can you not know what Ness yeah. was? I think he just was trolling in real life. Trolling. He was trolling. Yeah. <laughs> he was trolling. <laughs> trying to play you a little bit. But yeah. it's cool. Yeah. But Drewski is, Drewski is a clown. Yeah. And not in a bad way, but he just... Yeah. He's, he's a hilarious. celebrated clown. He's a yeah, celebrated yeah, he's clown. Funny. He's a celebrated clown. <laughs> <He's funny. laughs> you running from Birdman, like, you know what I'm saying? You right. got Birdman. Was that real, though? That's what I'm saying. Who knows? I think it was a script, a skit, but, it, 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 you know, they never said it was a skit. So maybe, he, maybe <laughs> it wasn't. Heterosexual male from the streets would play like that. <laughs> uh, if yeah. he wasn't a celebrated clown. <laughs> celebrated. I don't Who know. Who would play bro. like that? Grown men chasing you can't, you him. You don't even know that. Chain, you don't, you don't even, him out of a fucking... A name of a label. You don't even know, know now. Skin. Right. But you, you can't, you don't know anymore. Man. You know, look, is Drewski your is a right? clown. <laughs> is a clown. Anybody that dyed their hair blind, that was a 1990s thing. Niggas ain't dying their hair. I think niggas yeah. that died their hair. Kwame anyway. was from Philly too. I forgot about yeah, Kwame. But that was a 1990s know, but thing. Kwame, Kwame, Larry yeah, Lair, yeah. Three Times Larry, Larry, Dope, yeah, My Philly. Cousin Malika Love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Malika Love and DJ Bones, like I'm deeply yeah. rooted in hip hop. Oh, man, he doing yeah. shit, man. So Yo, remember that song "I Go Rambo"? You remember that? <laughs> I, know. I know. I know. Rambo. You got fat cat clicks. You got you got the Nine Brigade. The fat yo, cat clicks. You got yo, a bunch of I, artists, that's man. A real Philly's fucking, most wanted. He was the, one of the first artists, one of the first groups with Pharrell. Y'all, y'all don't know, man. I know Philly's most wanted. Man, I interviewed man. them way back. Oh, yeah. Roscoe Pico Chan, he back out. Yeah, okay. He back okay. out here. Yo, the whole Star oh, Trek man. imprint I and made Lava. You. Ab Lava. Ab Lava. I saw him at the airport in L.A. Yeah. He gonna come oh, in here, shit. pause, no Diddy, whatever y'all no saying now. Not about saying no Diddy. Quilly for the no That's crazy. No right, Diddy. right. Long Yo. as Quilly get the right light, man, is is all. What do you think about the Meek? Now, t t tell me your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. When the whole Meek and Diddy thing well, allegations turned into something, <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what was your honest first? This is my honest assessment of it. I'm from Philly, so I watch Meek come up. You know what I'm saying? As, with, as far as with the, with, with, with the gay allegations, I don't get the energy from me. Right. And and what I'm saying, basically, flat out, anybody that had gay tendencies, you would have heard about it until it got this far in his mm -hmm. career. Mm -hmm. You would have heard some saying, yo, yeah, boop, boop, bop, we heard he be, I mean, moving funny with certain people. You would have heard it. You wouldn't wait until his 97th, 15th year in hip-hop hearing about him doing something. Yeah. So what I'm saying, me coming from Philly, I never heard about any type of thing, that type of energy surrounding his name. Yeah. Right. Now, what I'm saying is, I'm not the type of person to put my foot in my mouth. And until we see some cohort fact, some yeah. footage, you know what I'm saying, we don't know. But I don't believe personally. I've never heard of it when none of that energy was around his name being from Philly, being yeah. from the same city as the artist that we we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I I gotta say, man, I hated the bunny hop situation. The bunny hop situation was a bad thing, but like we don't know, we we don't know, we don't know the variables that went into play. We don't know why he it. did it. We don't know why we don't know why people view all this shit. I think people need to leave their cameras alone for some some time and just let motherfuckers live their life. Yeah, no, everything's I, not I, to I be agree. recorded because if yeah. we wouldn't have never seen it, we wouldn't be judging them on that. Yeah. It just been some shit a bet. You know what I mean, we we've been laughing. He was just doing push ups. It just was bunny hops. Yeah. So we made it into a thing. Push ups is different though. It's di that's what I'm saying. That's different. It's different. Everything is different. If they said now you gotta give me twenty push ups. Is it different? If a chick come in here dress fucking um provocatively and we come at her, we're wrong for come at her, but we won't we won't uh 
let her make her take accountability for dressing a certain way. But What's because it's a free, it? because it incites a riot. You know you 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 are curvy. You know you shape like a motherfucking uh. <laughs> Aunt you know you got a moose knuckle. Yeah, we know you shit like. Why would you come in here <laughs> like that and not and 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 and, and, and be mad at the type of attention that that brings? If you got a big butt I'm and you and you don't want to cover it up, yeah, like why? Between the big butt but and you the know where it what it comes with just like you know what selling drugs come with six oh, nine come no when he was trying to get chief keep ran down on and this one this one knowing he known when he got booked what it comes with it comes with a self-destruct button if you don't not if you don't want to embrace that self-destruct button why do it you know if I, you come in here with the turkey out with a mini skirt on and a g-string that's popping out the top and don't expect niggas to come at you and then get mad if the next nigga come at you that walked in the door how can you get mad you want that attention it's the same attention that you dress a certain way for that you how does don't that relate want? to meek mill though i'm because I'm because people will put stuff on you when they think that you are at the lowest oh you're talking about they okay yeah, they All attack right. you okay so what i'm see. saying is people uh, judge a book by its cover we don't know what's going on we don't know who upset who, why the names is where they okay, at. Because okay. nobody is putting this type of pressure on 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 Chris Brown nor fucking Usher, and right. they was the redacted names also right beside. Why is Meek highlighted? Because right. Meek said something, right? And that mm. be it too. Sometimes you mm. just gotta let this shit go over your fucking shoulder. Mm. How did you feel about him and Diddy coming to the party dressed alike? I don't know about that. That's just not my style, so I don't. Okay. I can't speak on it. That's okay. just not my style. Mm, yeah, mm. Philly just, you know what I mean? Where I, well, the way I came up, we don't wear the same thing. We got the same right. thing going. That's, that's kind of the broke for it's, 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 it's strictly by coincidence. Yeah. And if we can, one or the other will remove themselves to not look like a fucking clown. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's just I normal shit. We're doing about face like. Okay. It's just right, I'll be shit. Back. It's right. just I don't know. Shit. Maybe they came in at the same time and don't know that. Maybe that was the. I don't know. I don't know why men do certain things. Or we used to dress alike like back in the day, you know, like back. But in if the I 80s. know if I come in here with a with a, with a, with a shiesty on, and with a hoodie on, in the middle of summer, what y'all gonna think I'm on? I'm, y'all think I'm on some good vibes? No. Y'all gonna think I'm on some <laughs> shit? Not. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> Same thing if a chick come in here with the with the cheeks out, with a mini skirt, with a crop top, with a fucking BBL and a and a, and a double D fucking um boob job. Why are you wearing that? It's yeah. all niggas in here. Yeah. You ain't even come in here with no more females. There's nobody you can confide in, converse with. Right. Mm. You want a certain type of attention. Woo. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. tigers wear stripes because of what? <laughs> it reminds other animals don't fuck with me. Mm. I'm special. Mm. Same shit with artists, engineers, producers. Beat mm. makers. Everybody mm. has their signature. Puff mm. Daddy got his signature. Meek got his signature. Snoop got his signature. Jada Kiss got his signature. Fat mm. Joe. And the list goes on and on. But when you ruffle feathers, they will always will always attack your personal habits. Mm. Mm. They will always attack your personal habits. Mm. It's the it's it's the bars. It's mm. the it's the it's almost the like the the go to rollout for all of our black mm. successful mm. men. Mm. Man, Bill Cosby. A lot. R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. Man, you got you on you on something. You on to something. You're 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 on to something. There's always you always your sexual Okay, so let me ask you this: Black abusers, white abusers. There's always more light on the white on on the black abusers. Mm. Never on the white abusers. Mm. Never. 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 Mm. Both bad, but obviously. And that's I, the fact. And some of the shit Charles and bad. White say too. We got to start recognizing too, because like I said. A motherfucker will straighten up if a bunch of white folks come in here. Yo, don't be cussing. Yo, put that weed out. But if a bunch of niggas come in here, you'd be like, put the weed out for what? We I all see, got picks for different shit. I've seen shit. rappers do that a we lot. We all got picks for different shit. Just like going no jumper. Niggas is ready to crash out, but then they say, I ain't ready to crash out. I would crash out, but we right here around all these white people. Mm -hmm. But if you a crash out, why just don't you just crash out? Right, right, yeah. Fuck who in the vicinity. Fuck who's around. Deal with that shit later. Mm -hmm. Niggas got picks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying, bro, it's just certain people do certain shit and certain people get a pass for certain shit. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right. 
that's a well lot, spoken. That's a lot, it's a lot going. That's on a lot to digest, here. right? It's a lot going on. I know, this man, I enjoy um, it though. Wow. I don't even know where to go right now. Like, I got the albums out, man. About, yeah, Let me borrow this beat. Yeah. Enes and Friends, Luda Chemist, all these projects are out, available for download. I'm working on another project called Enes and Friends right. too, featuring Dave East, Kid Kid, oh, Babs, so right. Bunny. <clears throat> wow. You know I mean? Okay, okay. Yo, no, I want I want a beatbox for you, for you right now. You got you got any bars? I got you. Uh you got you got any sound effects? All right, I'm gonna let you start. Ready? You gonna let me start? Go. All tribe never, black and ugly as ever. However, my whole outfit be put together. The only time you catch me outside is with the steppers and these hoes only want one thing, so I'm selective. This bitch asks too many questions, she a detective. But no, I don't own this spot, it's a bread and breakfast. Make your mind up, and my sassy on my sexes get a podcast and you can get paid for talking about it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think we was off a little bit there, but... <laughs> right, right. Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> We've never done that before. Yeah, that was on the that spot. Was the first time. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, <laughs> we didn't plan that, by the way. All right, so totally unplanned. Don't roast us for that. For sure. Totally unplanned. But that's hip hop. See, no other platform totally gonna do that. They ain't hip hop like us. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I said it. You know I mean? Yes, man. It's been. <laughs> it's been. Yo, this is probably. I say this the most interesting. This is the most. This is like a, a a curvy road, bro. When you're doing eighty. Right. On the side of a cliff. Y'all didn't know I had this much vast of knowledge on <laughs> so many things. And Yo, I I'm a smart person. I'm smart. Of I love raps it. and doing music. I'm a yeah. smart individual, period. Speak yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I respect you. Yeah. Facts. And when you are a thinker, they don't want you. They don't want thinkers in the industry. Yeah, no, that's a people fact. People are going to be compliant. Right. That's a fact. Before we go, man, you're a hell of a lyricist. How did you get into hip hop? Who's your? Give me your top five. Top five. Big Daddy Kane. Okay. Rock him. Mm. LL Cool J. I mean, a current Biggie, J, oh. Nas, and Eminem. Eminem. Mm. Eminem. You Eminem. remember your first rap you wrote? Nah. You don't? No, nah, that shit was <laughs> 20, 30 something years ago. I started rapping when I was fourteen. He was fourteen. Yeah. I'm, okay. Forty six. I'll be forty seven. Okay. Congrats, year. man. That's I've good. Been in, the, been in the game over roughly twenty years. So Dope. I'm still putting in. Salute. That's what's up. But let numbers. me get your top five Philly rappers too. Top five Philly rappers: Beanie Siegel, Black Thought, mm. Meek Mill, mm. um, Cassidy. Mm. I wrote all his raps, by the way. And <laughs> I gotta say, Spado. Spado. Wow. Okay. From uh, major major, fi major figures. figures. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. He was dope. He don't get enough credit. He was dope. Yeah. And again, this is his top five. That's yeah, 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 five. yeah. That's my top five. That's his top Philly, five. Philly, it's back. Gun to my head. That's my top five. Yeah. It yeah. fluctuates though, but that's my top five. Definitely. Philly, I love Philly, man. If people want to get your cheesecake, man, how can they do that? Because I know e you... Enes Cheesecake, I mean, follow me on the gram, at Enes Cheesecake, at E-N-E-S-S-C-H-E-E-C-A-K-E. -E -E. Any special flavors? Any... Yeah, we got the strawberry pop, and then we got the regular season. Okay. So we just got two flavors right now, and we're working on... um. Um, new flavors, so yeah, I mean, stay tuned for new developments with the cheesecake. Oh okay. no, though, man, Atiolas, you heard of Atiolas no, in Philly? No, we about it's to go a to vegan joint. We about to go to Aunt Sylvia's after this. Oh, for real? Oh, you are yeah. going to Harlem? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, you going Harlem? Okay, 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 okay. Harlem, Harlem. <laughs> That's the proper name, actually. Harlem. <laughs> People don't know that. Harlem. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be thinking about this interview, bro. It's no, for sure. Make yeah. sure y'all chop this joint up. Yeah. Make the sound box right so this shit can go viral. Yeah, we gonna Cause, definitely. Because y'all helping me start my podcast career. I got a lot of things to talk about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not conflicted. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not uh, persuaded. I'm not biased. I'm speakly, speaking on solely what I've learned, what I experienced in the game. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. persuading me. No agenda has been paying me to speak like this. Right. Yeah. I'm speaking honest and brutal as I can. We're gonna have to have you back. All right. Because uh, yeah, sure. after this is over, I'm gonna I'm I'm go home and I'm gonna I'm gonna think of everything I should have said. No, I know, right? Think real quick. Right. Part two. Think right. of something right. some real two. quick. This is that type of interview. I'm definitely oh, gonna. For sure, man. I'm, yeah. I'm the interview interviewers interviewee. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, sure. I love it. All right. We took uh, media training, so yeah. Yeah. Shout out, bad media boy. training. What media a training. what a thought. Media training. That's the thing. You know, before we wrap, that's the one thing people don't realize. 
how important media training is, how important even that process is going through the rigors. Yeah, niggas is getting paid a million dollars to talk. Yeah. I never thought Joe Buttons or yeah. academics or none of these guys would be so influential yeah. in the game right now. And it just shows how far we we, we have come within the entertainment and, and just black culture mm -hmm. and where, you know what I mean, even our fucking um, uh, 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 criticism mm -hmm. and our, our, our views on certain things are valuable. It's getting million dollars. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's like... Who knows what's 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 for the what's in the future with the future holds, but the way it's looking now, there's so many areas of music and media that we can extract and get money from. It's right. just it's a never ending fucking shitload of, of money, man. Yeah. And I never thought I would see the day where podcasters are richer than rappers. It's yeah, just, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so That's yeah. That's what it is. Make mm -hmm. sure y'all follow me on the gram, Enes underscore two one five on Facebook, Enes Mathis on Facebook. 215 Enes on Twitter. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Philly, Philly.